everyone welcome back to another procreate tutorial today we're going to be drawing a cool dog without further ado let's get started so our canvas is at 3000 by 3000 pixels the grid lines are set to 307 307 pixels so you can match your reference photo to your canvas so you'll have the grid lines here to help you get your dimensions right for your sketch all right so let's get started if you don't know how to load in or to prepare your canvas and everything to follow along with my tutorials i have created a separate video so you can go watch that first i'll leave a link and then you can go check that out and then come back and join us so today's brush i'm going to be using the channel inker streamliner all of these things will be provided for you for free the sketches, two sketches, one with grid lines, one without grid lines, the brushes, and the color palette. Free download over on Gumroad, although I've set it up where you can donate a dollar or two if you enjoy these tutorials that I bring to you free of charge every week. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to start off with black here. We're going to put our sketch in. So let me see where I want to start. I think I'm going to start up here with the top ears and stuff. So move my canvas over here so we can see that this ear is going to be coming about down to here through here through here and then it's going to be right along the top of that line right there so these are it's kind of some reference points that I'm putting on here I think it'll make it easier if you like to put these reference lines in here is to put them on a separate layer and I'll show you why so when we go ahead and put our lines in here so for example just like that so then if I go to the layer with the reference lines on it I can just go ahead and erase them really easily and it won't affect the line that I just laid down so you that's just one hit that you could do if you wanted to do that way so the next thing is we got the ear coming down through here maybe here and about right there so I'm just going to connect all of those together so just like that okay next I'm going to do this line right there so we are right right in that corner of that Two grid lines right there I'm just gonna go up to about right there okay and then this line about like that all right what else here uh, so I was wondering why when I was pushing harder why my line wasn't getting thicker and that's because I was on the wrong brush. I was on the monoline brush. So I wanted to be on the Chimmel Inker Streamliner. So then, we can get lines like that, thin to thicker. That's what I was trying to go for to begin with. All right, so let me see what else we're gonna do here. Let's do maybe this little eyebrow looking line and we're going to do thin to thick to thin again then we'll try right just like that and then maybe this one here all right and then touch in here and let's connect these two right here You know, I might can do these outside lines again because I didn't have the right brush when I originally did them. So make them a little bit more weightier, more heavy. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so this head part is going to dip down and then go back up. So it's going to dip down about right here 
and go back up to about here. So I'm going to do that line. So about like that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's still going to look good. All right. Uh, this other eyebrow. Mm, yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay, I'm going to bring the head down to about right there. Let me make this more even. All right, let me see. Uh, these two little lines here in the center look like a Y. Thick to thin. About right there, and then the other one is about like that. That's good. Okay, and then we have this line here that's going to touch that one. It's going to start about here and end up about there. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do it thick to thin again. All right, that's good. Let's get the other side of the head in right here. So we got so the outside of the ear comes out about here, crosses here to about there. All right, that's good. Okay, and then the that inside line right there so it's gonna come down to about there it's gonna come right through there so I think about like that is good okay let's do the continuation of this one coming around I'm gonna come here down to here it's going to end up about halfway in the middle there. So that, and I'm going to fix this length there. Okay. Uh, the ear coming out right here. It's going to start almost right at that grid line. And it's going to come about to there. Do that one. And then it's going to come down here to about there. Yeah, I don't like that. That's better. Okay, and let me see here. I'm going to do this inside one here. So we're going to start about here and end up about there and that's quite thick line so just about like that and I'm gonna get rid of that little dot there. It's bugging me there we go okay and then we're just gonna connect these two here okay alright alright let's start putting these glasses in so we'll have kind of a reference where everything else goes so since I'm already here, I might as well do this side first. And we got the bridge of the glasses right where that Y was at. So kind of like that. And then we got it going up to about there. And we're gonna bring it all the way over to there. Okay. Okay, the outside of the glasses is going to come just about like that. And it's going to be this line here. So about right there. And then we're going to have the little earpiece of the of the glasses is going to be right here.
I think that's good. Okay, the bottom of the glass is going to run along that bottom grid light and gradually go up to about right here. So we're just going to connect those. Let me fix this right here. All right. Now the inside of the glasses. So it's going to start about here, I think, and then go up to here, through there, and then it's going to curve down before that grid line. Come down to here and then end up about right there so see I've got all of these marks I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this in one shot we'll try I think that's good that's good we'll fix this one over here where it got a little thin all right I think that's good all right, and then we have this little reflection. About like that. Okay, so that part of the glasses is done. Let's go ahead and put this other part in. So we got it. Coming up about right there. And then it's going to go across to about there. Okay. Okay, and then the glasses is going to come down and connect up with that. Okay. And then the bottom of the glasses is going to come to about there. All right. That's good, let's do the inside part now. So we've got it about right there, about there. And then it's gonna stop right before that grid line, so somewhere right there. And then we got it coming up here, crossing over those two grid lines and then connecting up with that. So we can go ahead and, hmm. I'm not going to do this one in one go. We'll do this part over here now. Okay, let's put the reflection in there. Okay. All right, let's get this dog's bridge of his nose in here. So, start about right there, and across, and then right there going to be on that grid line right there. And then we're going to come down on this side, here, here, here. I'm going to end up about right there. Then this one's going to about right there. So I'm just going to do this this loop here. I'm not going to do it in one go. Just like that and then over here. Okay. And then we can connect all these things that are not connected so we won't create a nightmare for ourselves when we go in to do the coloring and then if we need to clean up any of these reference lines we can go ahead and do that Good to go. Okay, let's do the outside of the face here. So from here to there, 
running along that grid line up right up to there. All right, and this bottom is going to be quite thick. And then we got another line going right there. Okay, we got another thick line. here about like that okay and then we have these one right there and one right there okay Okay, let's put this, like he's smoking a cigar here. So it's going to start about there. Come through here. Come through here. And it's going to head back up. About like that. All right, and then let's connect. These. All right, looks good. All right, so we can put this little curvy line here. And it looks like the Cigar has a label on it, so about like that. Then a circle in the middle. I think that's good. I'm going to erase this mark right there. Okay, what's next? Let's go ahead and put the bottom of his jaw, or the bottom of his lip, I guess would be. So we're going to come out of the cigar about here. Oops, got my eraser on steel. Okay, let me fix this. So we're going to come out of the cigar about... Here, we're going to cross right there, and it's going to go back up there, up to about there. I think that's good. Going to come to there, about there, about there. And it's going to run right along that line all the way up to there. Okay, I think that's good. Fix that. Okay. Uh, the bottom. Maybe like that, and then another one's gonna intersect it and come about to there. Okay, and then we're gonna come and dip down and go back up and touch the cigar. About like that, and then we got this little pointed shape here. So we've got this one here. All right, uh, let me see. This circular shape here.
comes up to about there and then it about like that about like that and we have one coming up to there one to there Make sure we connect this one and we got some One there and a little one there. Okay, we have this thick one right here. It's gonna start about like that. And then we got one coming out the bottom of it to there, shooting up to there and then connecting over there. All right, let me make sure that touches. Okay, let's get his nose in now. And then we got that little U shape here in the middle. Make sure that those touch and then we have these little curvy lines that go up and meet the nose okay and then we got the center one here that comes down to about here all right and then we have these one right there we got a curved one right there and one right there and then this bottom one here just like that okay on this side one right there one right there. I'm going to make sure this is all filled in. And then we have one. Let's intersect in that line. Okay, let's take a look at this. We got the ones coming out of the middle one now. So that's going to be coming down almost to this thick line we got here. And it's going to curve up. And it's going to connect to that middle line here. So about like that. I think that's okay. And then we got this one that's touching the cigar here. Like that. Okay, then on the other side. So we have this one that is not touching this line, but starting right, right, very close to it. I think that's better. And then the one below it. Got a couple of lines up here near the glass, top of the glasses I forgot, so one right there and then we got like a little rounded shape here I think that's it I think I've got one more right here okay so now I guess we're gonna go ahead start in on the coloring so uh, I'm going to turn off my reference photo Alright, and now we're going to create a new layer 
We're going to drag it under our lines. We're going to set our line layer to reference. So what that's going to do is we're going to drop the colors into layer 2 here and it's going to use the lines above it as a reference to where to put the colors at. Okay, so I've got a palette here for you guys called Dog and I've got a lighter color and a darker color of each one except up to here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to pick this first beige color here and we're going to drop that in to the dog's head up here and then probably right there too. All right, and also it's going to be right there and right there. Uh-oh, not right there. I think I should probably do some of the blacks in right now. Well, anyway, we can drop in this one over there too. And it actually goes here also. Okay, change to your black. And this is going to be black. The glasses inside are going to be black. The outside of the ear right there is going to be black. If we miss something, we can go in and add it later. This part here is not supposed to be black. So that's kind of the way it was supposed to look. So I'm happy with that. All right, so let's do the brown color next. So next to the one we just chose. And we're going to do the ears. And that right there. And you can just, after you fill in one, if you hit continue filling, then you can just tap it. Yeah, it looks good. So that little, let me turn color drop off, that little part right here is supposed to be black. Oops, I forgot the top of his, the bottom of his lip. That's brown too. Okay, uh, glasses is going to be this reddish color here. Drop that in. And then, I think this is supposed to be brown. I thought that was part of the glasses, but I think it's part of his ear. All right, so let's do the cigar. And the cigar is this other brown, which is way over here. One, two, three, fourth over. Drop that in. Drop that in. The middle of the cigar label is this... This grayish color here. Yeah, I think it's the same, that same gray color for here and there. And the inside is this yellowish right there. The end of the cigar is this dark, dark red. Okay, nose. Nose is going to be this really dark gray here. And I'm going to turn off my background layer, choose white, and put those reflections in there. Now we have got all of our colors in, so let's start on the shading process next. So I'm going to create a new layer on top of our colors. I'm going to set it to clipping mask, which is only going to allow us to paint on areas that have color already. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick our darker shade of the first one that we used and we're going to start putting in some shadows here and basically they're just following along 
these lines so about like that maybe we'll have a little bit here on the bottom oops all right that's good we're gonna do here just kind of follow along the edges All right, same thing over here. And just following along those black lines. And the same thing up here with the head. It's kind of like I'm outlining everything. kind of just accents those folds and wrinkles in the dog okay let's do kind of one right here Okay, and we'll connect that one there, and then maybe over here. We'll have one that's kind of connected. I think that's good. So about like that. Okay, so now let's go to our darker brown that we filled in with these. So we're going to do the, basically the same thing. We're just going to go around these black spots. And we're just going to kind of add a border around them. All right, and... here I'm going to kind of make some rounded shapes in here.
about like that and then we're gonna do this one I'm gonna leave like a little rounded shape in the middle and just fill in all the rest okay I like it so just about like that uh, this one over here I'm gonna leave a circle here in the middle and then I think all the rest of this is all gonna be filled in I'm gonna make my brush a little bigger So it'd be easy to color all those in. All right, and then we're gonna leave a little shape like that in the middle. And maybe right here. Okay, and then on this side, we'll leave a spot there in the center. All right, I like it. That's about it for the snout. Let's do up the ear on the ear. And we're going to leave kind of like that. And then we can leave a little thin one here in this part right there. Yep. Over on this side, basically same thing. Leave a little thin one here in the middle. All right. Uh, all of this bottom is going to be basically colored in. And then here we're going to leave a... little one like that let's do the glasses now so the darker part of the pinkish and same same idea guys we're just gonna go around the edges we're gonna leave a spot there in the middle Okay, same thing in the center here. Maybe we'll cut that up into two pieces. And around the edges here. And then on the inside also. All right, and then this black, we can fix this where we went over it. Choose black, clean that up. All right, let's put a little bit of detail. Just choose black, we'll put a little wiggly lines here to make it look like ashes and that is going to do it let's change the background color to maybe this lighter I'm just going to put a layer down the very bottom drag and drop that in turn off our grid lines and there you are our cool puppy so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you haven't subscribed please do so it helps the channel so much and it's much appreciated thanks for joining me and we'll see you again next week take care